After studying this module, you shall be able to know about preparative methods of metallocarburanes. The chemistry of metallocarburanes is a vast and rewarding field of study. Metallocarburanes are much less reactive and more stable than the corresponding metallocenes and these tend to stabilize higher oxidation state of later transition metals. Example, Cu12C2B9H11 twice hold 2 negative and Cu12C2B9H11 twice whole negative ions are known whereas cuprosine that is Cu eta 5 C 5 H 5 twice is not. Iron 3 and nickel 4 carburane derivatives are extremely stable. Metallocarburanes tend to stabilize lower oxidation states of early transition elements and complexes are well established for titanium 2, zirconium 2, hafnium 2, vanadium 2, chromium 2, and manganese 2 metals. These do not react with hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon monoxide or triphenylphosphine as do cyclopenta dienyl derivatives of these elements. Now we shall have a look at the general methods of preparation. The methods of preparation of metallocarburanes are enormous. The six major Synthetic methods of metallocarburanes are number 1 coordination using nidocarburane anions as ligands, number 2 polyhedral expansion, number 3 polyhedral contraction, number 4 polyhedral subrogation, number 5 thermal metal transfer, and number 6 direct oxidative insertion of the metal center. All methods except the last were developed by M. F. Hawthorne and his group in the period 1965 to 1974 and have since been extensively exploited by several groups. Looking at the first method that is the coordination using nidocarburane anions as ligands developed in 1965. The reaction of dicarbolide anion C2B9H112- with FeCl2 in tetrahydrofuran that is THF with rigorous exclusion of moisture and air gives the pink diamagnetic bis sandwich type complex of Fe2+ which can be reversibly oxidized to the corresponding red Fe3 plus complex. This has been shown in figure twice C2 B9 H11 2 minus plus Fe2 plus in the presence of tetrahydrofuran gives Fe eta 5 C2 B9 H11 twice whole 2 negative in the presence of air gives Fe eta 5 C2 B9 H11 twice whole negative. Figure shows the pink sandwich type complex of Fe2 plus metal. If the reaction is carried out in the presence of NaC5H5, the purple mixed sandwich complex is obtained as shown in figure C2B9H11 2 minus plus C5H5 minus plus Fe2 plus in the presence of tetrahydrofuran gives Fe eta 5 C 5 H 5 eta 5 C 2 B 9 H 11 figure shows the purple mixed sandwich complex of Fe 3 plus. The reaction is general and has been applied to many transition metals like chromium, molybdenum, tungsten, manganese, rhenium, nickel, palladium, copper, silver, gold and beryllium. The use of metal carbonyls supplies the capping unit. For example, C2B9H11 2 minus plus MOCO6 in the presence of light gives MOCO3 eta 5 C2B9H11 
hole 2 minus plus 3 carbon monoxide. Second method is the polyhedral expansion given in 1970. The two electron reduction of a close carborane with a strong reducing agent such as sodium naphthalide in tetrahydrofuron followed by the reaction with the transition metal reagent is quite general for close carboranes. It involves the 2 dash electron reductive opening of an N vertex close cluster followed by metal insertion to give a N plus 1 vertex close cluster. The insertion of a second metal center into metallocarboranes leads to the formation of a bimetallic complex having 10 vertex cluster as shown in figure twice close C2BN minus 2 HN in the presence of sodium gives twice NEDO C2BN minus 2 HN 2 negative which in the presence of metal ion gives M C2 B N minus 2 H N twice whole M minus 4 plus charge. Another example is closo 17 C2 V6 H8 in the presence of tetrahydrofuran gives CO C5 H5 C2 B6 H8 which again can be reduction to CO C5 H5 twice C2 B6 H8. Figure throws the bimetallic complex having 10 vertex cluster. The reaction of cobalt chloride with icosahedral 1 2 C2 B10 H12 gives supra icosahedral metallocarboranes with 13 and 14 vertex polyhedral structures. This is shown in scheme 1 from B to E. Scheme 1 shows A as icosahedral 1 to C2 B10 H12 and the figures from B to E shows facial isomerism of the 13 vertex mono metallo boranes. The third method is the polyhedral contraction given in 1972. This involves the removal of 1 BH group from a closo metallocarborane by nucleophile base degradation followed by oxidative closure of the resulting nido metallocarborane complex to a closo species with one vertex less than the original. This is shown in figure. For example, 3 CO eta 5 C5 H5, 1, 2, C2 B9 H11 in the presence of OET minus and peroxide gives 1 dash CO eta 5 C5 H5 2 4 C2 B8 H10. Figure shows the formation of closo complex by base catalyzed reaction and H2O2. This method is less used for the preparation of metallocarboranes compared to polyhedral expansion since some metallocarboranes degrade completely under these conditions. Now looking at the fourth method that is the polyhedral subrogation given in 1973. The replacement of a BH vertex by a metal vertex without changing the number of vertices in the cluster is termed polyhedral subrogation. The degradative removal of the BH unit is followed by reaction with a transition metal ion rather than with an oxidizing agent. For example, we have CO eta 5 C5 H5, C2 B10 H12 in the presence of hydroxide gives CO eta 5 C5 H5 twice C2 B9 H11. The method is of potential use in preparing mixed metal clusters example cobalt plus nickel or cobalt plus iron and can be extended to prepare more complicated cluster arrays as shown in figure the subrogated B atom being indicated as a broken circle. Figure shows the formation of mixed metal clusters. 
Now looking at the fifth method that is the thermal metal transfer given in 1974. This method is less general and often less specific than the coordination of anions of polyhedral expansion. It involves the pyrolysis of pre-existing metallocarburanes and consequent cluster expansion or dispropionation similar to that of the carburanes, yielding mixture of products. For example, we have C5 H5 twice CO plus 23 C2 B8 H10 twice cobalt anion in the presence of 525 degrees Celsius in a hot tube yields C5 H5 twice CO2 C2 B8 H10. Alternatively, the direct metal insertion by gas phase reactions at elevated temperatures can be shown as shown in scheme 2. The reaction with CO eta 5 C5 H5 CO twice also gives the 7 vertex closo bimetallo carburane which can be considered as a rare example of a triple decker sandwich compound. Another isomer shown in figure 6 can be made by base degradation of CO eta 5 C5 H5 C2 B4 H6 followed by depropanation and subrogation by with the second CO eta 5 C5 H5 unit having the central planar formal C2 B3 H5 4 minus unit isoelectronic with C5 H5 anion. Figure shows part A as the 7 vertex closo bimetallocarburane and part B is the isomer of closo bimetallocarburane. Now looking at the sixth method that is the direct oxidative insertion of a metal center given by F. G. A. Stone et al. in 1972, the nucleophilic zero valent derivatives of nickel, palladium and platinum insert directly into closocarburane clusters in a concerted process which involves a net transfer of electrons from the metal to the cage. A typical reaction is PT, PET thrice, whole thrice plus 2,3-ME2, 2,3-C2-B9-H9 2, 2, at minus 30 degrees Celsius in the presence of petrol gives 1-PT, PET thrice, whole twice, dash 2,4-MEC twice, B9, H9 plus PET thrice. Now we shall summarize what we have learnt in this module. The metallocarburanes can be prepared by six major synthetic methods that is coordination using nidocarburane anions as ligands, polyhedral expansion, polyhedral contraction, polyhedral subrogation, thermal metal transfer and direct oxidative insertion of the metal center.